<clears throat> Grandpa Newby reporting for duty, responding to a request from a lot of you, and that's using the quartermaster suppressor matched with the paracord under barrel grip. So here it is on the OG Fennec, and you'll notice this one doesn't have a stock, so it's going to be a high recoil Fennec. And on the stream last night, one of you very wisely pointed out, well, you need to have recoil control on your weapons, to which I respond, I don't think we have that much recoil in game. And they said, well, if you get on a long map, you're surely going to see it. And I thought, well, that sounds pretty smart. But the next thing I thought is, well, I've gotten plenty of long shots with multiple weapons with no stock and high recoil. The recoil piled on on purpose. And what exactly map are we talking about? Derail, that's the only long map because every map I play free for all on has a long shot corridor and I get multiple long shots on them with these high recoil weapons. So let's have a look at the configuration. We'll start with the quarter master suppressor and you can see that that helps the recoils. Those are composite numbers. You'll also see that I've got the recoil fairly high and the gun kick is almost uh, well 73 and a half degrees per second. Small horizontal recoil under 10 degrees per second. And the vertical recoil is 44.96 degrees per second and what that means the degrees per second is the closer you are the less you're going to see the recoil because the degree is not as far in amplitude not as large as it would be further out same thing in flying at 60 miles out one degree is one mile at i think it's six miles out 10 degrees is one mile so that's a big difference all right and you can see it impacts the ads speed and sprint to fire speed something grandpa doesn't like to do that's why i pile on the recoil that's why I think the quartermaster suppressor is not a attachment for me but enough people ask for it I put it on and while we're here let's take a look at the damage it's pretty low at 33 headshot and 27 of the upper lower torso and upper legs but now Look at the rate of fire. It's almost 1091, 1091 rounds per minute. So that puts our time to kill on a fully healthy enemy at less than 300 milliseconds, no matter what, if you're within the effective damage range, which is 12.7 meters. The ADS speed is 194 milliseconds. That's why I didn't want to hurt it with the quartermaster suppressor and add 5% to it, but hey, we're a good sport here. And the sprint to fire is hurt by 11%. I could be even faster than 63 milliseconds which is faster than most of the pistols and let's go to the second premier a tier attachment and that is the paracord grip and that helps the sprint to fire by 17 percent the horizontal recoil movement speed ads movement speed up to 3.6 meters per second and all around green no red that's why i love the paracord a lot more than the quartermaster suppressor i would probably if i was going to even use a suppressor go with the shadow strike because no upsides no downsides doesn't hurt you doesn't help you keeps you off the map with the Fennec, I tried bare bones, but it just does not work. You're always switching out the magazine. So I go with the 45 round mag and still you spit those bullets out very, very quickly. And there's a lot of red to it. Hurts the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. It hurts reload, of course, but also all the mobility. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything to the recoil, the accuracies, anything like that. The rubber grip. That piles on a little bit of recoil, but makes up for some of that ADS speed and definitely helps the sprint to fire speed. This thing is a firecracker up close. The FTAC stock cap. It's a cap, not a grip, so it helps significantly with the mobility and the handling ADS speed, sprint to fire speed. I mean, we've had multiple attachments improve the sprint to fire by 20%. That's how we got to 63. Helps the max hip fire and the tack stance and significantly impacts the recoil. And speaking of recoil, let's go to the firing range and have a look at it. First, hip fire, and I won't try to control it. And you can see we're looking at the ceiling, but it goes pretty much straight up. Now, aim down sight, and I won't control it. Again, fairly straight, some kick, easily controllable. This is in the firing range. I'm of the opinion there's more recoil that shows in the firing range than there is the field of honor. And speaking of the field of honor, let's take the FTAC, no stock, with the paracord grip and the quartermaster suppressor onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's friendly enemies, sometimes. 
Let's go. All right, let's get into the. Ooh, let's get into this. The Fennec. That was one of my favorite Modern Warfare Two weapons. Somebody on the stream said I moved too fast, so I tried to slow it up just a little bit. And there is somebody at distance, and you can see there was absolutely no recoil at all in this high recoil gun. So I don't know what we're supposed to be looking for. Bigger map. We play on the largest maps, except Free For All is not played on derail which i don't like that map anyway because I, I i don't like to get sniped <laughs> from people camped on the corners and up on the building there and up in the window but i do like getting my long shots with snipers but by sniping those people camped on the corners and up in the windows So I don't know. Uh, maybe it's Grandpa's crazy conspiracy theory, or maybe it's some sort of a smoothing algorithm. Like some of you better players out there get more recoil or something. Now there's a conspiracy to start. But I'm just not seeing it with this weapon. And I'll show you a few longer shots. I did get one long shot on a different map that it's not going to be in this in this video. And it was the same thing. As the medium range shot, there was no recoil to control. Well, maybe I controlled it. Maybe since it's just straight up and down, my brain takes over and my thumb. I don't know. But there we go. So I kind of like this map. I like the new cartoony maps. I also like the realistic map, so you get tired of what you're used to, I think. Because I, I went back and played some older CODs, and they all seem to have cartoony maps to me compared. And I played Black Ops, what is it, 4? And it seemed like there was no movement speed whatsoever in Black Ops 4, at least not compared to where we're at now. Ooh. Guy did a faceplant, kill Grandpa. That guy's got a weird lizard motorcycle helmet. But this weapon, you know, even with the 45 rounds, it puts them out so quickly that there's a lot of changing. And that's one thing people don't consider. You know, even the pros don't hit every shot. And you can see I went down to zero just to gack that one person. What is this guy? Is he some kind of a robot or a centurion from... Battlestar Galactica or something those he needs to go back to the 70s Grandpa sent him there I felt really comfortable with this weapon I felt like you know in previous CODs the high recoil weapons really were high recoil I mean you shot at the sky you had to really work to keep it down <laughs> he stepped on the proximity mine Grandpa got a little 1.1 1 .1 GAC lead, so we're going to go over all the cartoon rubble and try to find more people. There was always some people, somebody camped in here, and Grandpa pays for it with the guy with a mosquito net over his face. So, yeah, you got Dare, and then you have Invasion. That's a long map. And that Invasion is played in free-for-all, and I'd use these same weapons on that, the same configuration. So maybe, look at there. I mean, you'd expect some, some rise in the end of the muzzle, but there was absolutely none. And that's why I think that the Quartermaster, you can see it there, Suppressor might be superfluous for me because whether it's decreased recoil in game or whether it's some smoothing algorithm that gives a 66 year old players more of a chance with a weapon something's fishy and grandpa will take the win pumps his fist waiting on that final kill cam because that's an opportunity to shine and he's shooting at the guy's knees but he dies anyway and grandpa doesn't care somebody cut him afterwards peace 
So grandpa comes back a little later. This should give us the opportunity for longer shots. Every, every map, every map you have opportunity for long shots on most maps. Oh, what's this guy doing? Captain America's just standing in the corner like he was in trouble at school. Like someone caught him stealing chickens or something. That's what they used to say when I was growing up. He's in trouble like they caught him stealing chickens on South Alabama saying. I actually went out with my baseball team back when I was in elementary school. We'd won a game. We decided to go to some farmer's field and get us a couple vegetables to celebrate. It's the one and only time Grandpa ever experimented. There's a long shot with the Renetti. Experimented with that. And that farmer was waiting on us. Maybe other baseball teams had done that. And Grandpa got shot with uh, salt. Some, the old guy would load up his shotgun with salt and shoot at us. And that was part of the fun, I guess. Now, there's a fairly long shot. And you can see in slow motion, I mean, if you can tell me the awful recoil, if I'm willing to listen. So, yeah, I never told my parents, even though I, my mom saw a rash on my back and said, where'd you get that from? And I said, I don't know, football practice. Of course, it wasn't football season, but she didn't know. And from that point on, uh, Grandpa walked a straight and narrow, even though the baseball team tried to influence him otherwise. Let's put that thing out there. And there's a little medium range shot there with no recoil. So tell me which map. Tell me which map I'm going to see the recoil on because I don't see it at all. Not that that wasn't, wasn't a smart uh, statement, because I think it was brilliant. We have some good players that come on the streams. Very good players. In fact, they drag Grandpa along. They get a gack, drag Grandpa. Get a gack, drag Grandpa to the next place. There's incredible eraser, man. Dang. That's a good skin because it's hard to see. There's a guy waiting for the elevator to get fixed. Of course, he doesn't need to wait anymore. Looks like that's a racer, man. Let's see if I can get them both. I don't know, but I got that one. So this Renetti is a bullet hose. I don't care about the small damage numbers. Don't let that frighten you away. Just like I say, don't let the recoil. Now, say if you're ever going to see the recoil, it's turning a corner, shooting low, and it just wasn't there while you're getting shot. If anything, I dropped my weapon a little bit on that time. I just tried to jump. She's, maybe she's trying to jump in my arms and tell me she liked me, but Grandpa gacked her. Oh, average soldier goes swinging past. Yeah, you don't have a chance if you get caught throwing out a lethal. Oh, <laughs> she's very springy in her step. Once Grandpa gets about four or five ahead, what I try to do, just get as many gacks as possible, just go out running. Don't worry about dying. Of course, as Clint Eastwood said, outlaw Josie Wells, dying ain't much of a living, son. Or dying ain't much of a way to make a living. I think that's what he said. There we go. Yeah, not even the Renetti could save Grandpa there. So try this, try this configuration on the Fennec. I think you're going to love it. It's a, it, you can bulldog people. I mean, you blitz them, you just run right over the top of them, and you have an instantaneous sprint to fire. Of course, you're going to be using your secondary a bunch. It's the second time I got that guy with a drop shot. Poor guy. You are going to be reloading a lot. But at 63 millisecond sprint to fire, there's another fist pump, a piece, a little bit of a dance. Grandpa's getting jiggy with it. There's the I Love Me replay. 
the Fennec. This configuration, Quartermaster, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to change the configuration. It's permanent. I'll leave the Quartermaster suppressor on, the paracord. Please like and subscribe. Give me your Fennec stories. Cheers and peace.